Let's take a look at presentations. Now in the beginning I showed you that if you go into the menu and select new, um, you can find that there are a lot of templates online. And there are templates that range for, from um, even things for resumes or documents, for spreadsheets. But you can also filter um, the, your search by just clicking on presentations. And a lot of people have created all different kinds of templates, either for um, either scrapbooks or for slideshows, photo albums, um, either corporate or personal presentations, portfolios. The only problem with using free templates online is that you don't know what is attached to it. It doesn't actually uh, protect you from getting any kind of viruses or um, anything else. And there's also copyright issues, too, that um, you definitely want to look into before. Uh, using any of these templates. So um, it's good to take a look at the terms of services just to get an idea of where these templates come from. But I highly suggest just creating something from scratch. It uh, doesn't take very long and you'd be surprised how easy it is and how creative you can get. So let's uh, go back and I have started on a presentation so I'm going to click on Hamster Awareness. And as you can see I have a, it's a little slideshow about hamsters and why you should adopt a hamster. There are a lot of hamsters out there that um, are in pounds and uh, do not haven't got uh, that are in pet stores that need to get adopted. So this is just a little. Um, this is just to go with our theme of the small small animal awareness. So what we're going to do is we're going to liven this up a bit, and I'm going to go to edit and create uh, just change the theme a bit. And there's different themes available, and I'm going to choose uh, pink and pretty. And see, it brings a lot more color to it, and uh, since kind of goes with a cute theme. So we have one, two, three. Let's actually include another slide between three and four. So I'm going to select slide three, and I'm going to go to uh, slide, insert new slide, and just choose a blank one. And now I'd like to insert a video. So if you go to insert, select video it takes you to YouTube and what YouTube what it does is that it takes the uh, the title of what your presentation is about and it looks for um, it uses as keywords for look, searching a video that would fit for your presentation now this unfortunately doesn't have too much on hamsters so I'm just going to look for hamsters and see what we can find and there's a lot of videos that are available so I'm going to try to find something that's pretty short uh, let's select this one you may have seen this one. This one was done by uh, Cook's Den. I believe this is for a small little um, commercial. So that one can go on for a while. So let's just select this video. And now it's going to embed the video into the slideshow. So let's make this a little bit bigger. So it takes up most of the slide. And for our last slide, let's include another image. I'm going to browse onto my computer and find this one. This one looks good. Okay, so now let's take a look at what it will look like as a presentation. So I'm going to click Start Presentation, and a pop-up menu will come up with the presentation. Okay, so I just select, uh, all I have to do is just click, and it goes from the next slide to the next slide. And here is the YouTube video. I press play. Okay, so now we know that it works. All right, so let's go to uh, the next slide and our final slide. And that's the end of our presentation. So what I can do now is now I could share this with, uh, with other viewers or other collaborators and they can add in more pictures or videos or edit text. Um, otherwise, you know what I can also do now if I feel that this presentation is ready, I can go to share and publish it. And what this will do is uh, when I publish this, 
It will now um, it will now give me a URL that I can send to people, and I can also embed it into um, if, if I have a blog, I can actually put that in there. So since this presentation is still in the works, I'm just going to go back, and I am going to just file and save. And that is a short overview of presentations. Golly, I could never get enough of slideshows and presentations. Speaking of presentations, what is this person's deal with hamsters? I mean, all they do is stuff their cheeks, sleep all day, and then run endlessly in a squeaky wheel to keep you up all night. It's enough to drive one crazy. Hamsters are great lovable pets and they don't require you to be home 24 hours a day. Put them in one of those little balls and they get to roam around free. Well, I must admit, there were a lot of cute pictures of hamsters in the slideshow. Now it is your turn to put together a slideshow. Communicate with your fellow students and put together a super slideshow for your friend to show at the party. Try to use pictures that tell a story and make captions. Don't forget to try different animated transitions and other cool effects. There are a lot of great sites on the web to search and load share pictures online. Check out Google's Picasa and take the opportunity to manage your account. Lastly, remember that you can include YouTube videos as well. By the way, no hamsters were harmed in the making of their presentation. I'm looking forward to seeing how creative you can get by putting together a super slideshow. Bill, did you leave something burning? Oh no. I forgot about the popcorn. Until then, good luck with your presentation.